All right. Attempt number two. All right. Hello, YouTube slash stream. Uh, I'm doing this video live. Uh, so we're just going to try and go through how to do the cancel, bell rush, macro, etc. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So what you need to do is you need to have uh, a mechanical keyboard or a Razer Naga or some sort of program uh, that allows you to make a macro um, outside of WoW. Now, I can only talk about Razer Synapse because that's the only one that I've ever used. I know that, that Corsair have a version, SteelSeries have a version, and Logitech do as well. Um, but the way that you do it is you need to have S, so that's my back key, spacebar, then whatever your macro for Fell Rush is, which mine is four, and then spacebar and then S are bound together quite quickly. And what that does is that cancels Fell Rush. So normally, this is what Fell Rush does, right? So normally I'm going to ping across the map like this, right? So the idea behind having it so it cancels it is so you can do things like this. So I'm doing the damage that I need to do in a flat circle and I'm not sort of running across the map, which obviously for, for someone that's going to be raiding Mythics, that's huge because you don't want to be jumping around the map um, and doing all these sort of numbers and flying around and landing in some sort of AOE that's going to kill your character, right? That's the complete opposite of what you want to be doing. So having a fell rush macro is something that I really want to stay in the game, but there's a chance that they're probably going to take it out, unfortunately. Um, so again, just to give an example of the difference of using it compared to not using it. Um, let me tell these guys to wait, wait, uh, wait, please. Um, so the normal one, right, is like this. Okay? Uh, obviously, if you're playing Momentum, you're going to be using this a lot because every time you use Fell Rush, you get 20% damage for every four seconds. Um, and then there's a lot of other things that sort of ping off it, like uh, using Vengeful Retreat, the cooldown is reduced, but then you're obviously going to be flying backwards, and then you can use a non-macroed one uh, that you can sort of use to get back into combat. So the difference when you use the macro is this. So obviously, I just jump into the air, uh, and I'm still going to get the buffs. I'm still going to get the things that I really want to get from the macro. Um, but I'm not going to be landing in some sort of AoE that I don't want to land in. Um, that might put a dot on me that might end up killing me and, and effectively wiping a raid or whatever you're going to do when you're looking at the new mythic content. Um, it works pretty well. A, a, a word of warning, it can disconnect you. Uh, it's only happened to me once since I've been using it. Uh, today, as you can see, it's pretty reliable. Um... It does take a little while to get used to, and you only should press it once, right? So don't spam it, just press it once. That's it. Um, the second thing is here is a little macro on how to do it, which I'll put a link in the description of how you do it. Um, and then this is how it looks on a Steel Series keyboard. So I'll put those both into the chat uh, and both into the video description for you guys to check it out so you can work it out yourself. Again, S is my back key. Space is obviously this jump. Four is what I have for Fell Rush as a cooldown. Uh, hopefully you guys can work this out. It's not too difficult. It took me a little bit to work it out uh, at first. And again, with uh, Hoogly's one, I'm guessing that S is default and then his Fell Rush key would be Q. So that's how he sort of set his up. Um, shout out to the guys that helped find this and uh, Hoobly and Tippy Sand. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully this helps. Cancel your Fell Rush. Peace.